Zener diodes are really useful devices uh, for use within a variety of electronic circuits. In fact, they're probably most widely used for generating a stable voltage reference within a circuit for use as in a power supply or generating a, a rail within a, another electronic circuit. So in this video, what we're going to do is to tell you about these devices, how they work, and also give some ideas on how they can be used in circuits. And we'll also investigate the question of when is a Zener diode not actually a Zener diode? And then we'll also provide some hints and tips for using them in electronic circuits. In electronic circuits, the Zener diode or voltage reference diode uses this circuit symbol. It's the basic diode symbol with a, a couple of extra bits on it to distinguish it from other forms of diode. The basic principle for the Zener diode is that it can be used to provide a stable voltage because when it's reversed bias, it breaks down at a specific voltage. Here we see the curve for the Zener diode. It has a normal forward voltage characteristic as we see in other diodes, but when we look at the reverse characteristics, we see the sharp breakdown area. Because this is very sharp and well defined, we can use this as a voltage reference. In fact, the Zener diode can be used in many circuits. Here we see the basic shunt regulator circuit that we're all familiar with, I'm sure. And here are some slightly more complicated circuits with feedback in them, and they can be made adjustable and also give much better regulation. In terms of the components themselves, there's a good variety available. They come in both leaded and surface mount versions, and the voltages available conform to the E-series values from around 2.7 volts up to a maximum of around 30 to 35 volts, very roughly. Although there are some specialised uh, components that are available with voltages up to 100 or even 200 volts. Also, they come in a variety of dissipation levels. 500 milliwatts is common for the small leaded versions, but 1 watt and even 5 watt versions are available. Dissipation levels, though, are lower for the surface mount Zeners. So when is a Zener diode not actually a Zener diode? Well, it all boils down to the breakdown mechanism in the diode. It's found that below about 5 or 5.5 volts, the breakdown mechanism is what's called Zener breakdown. Above this, another form of breakdown called avalanche breakdown progressively dominates. Links with more details about these can be found in the video description. So below about 5 volts, the diode is a Zener diode, but above this it should probably be referred to as a voltage reference diode. But actually, we all refer to these diodes, whatever the voltage, as Zener diodes, and everyone knows what we mean. So here are a few tips for using these diodes. The first is that we can use the fact that the two forms of breakdown have different temperature coefficients. They operate in opposite directions. So if we use a diode with a voltage of around 5 or 5.5 volts where both of the breakdown mechanisms occur, then it will vary less with temperature than diodes with other voltages. As many circuits are adjustable, this capability can be used to enable a 5 volt diode to be used in these circuits more easily. The second is to make sure that there's enough current flowing to enable the diode to break down properly. Often diodes need an absolute minimum of about 5 milliamps before they'll break down. If you're trying to save power, then look very carefully at the minimum value, particularly if it's going to have to operate over a temperature. I've fallen foul of this before now, and it was purely because I wasn't giving the Zener diode enough current to break down properly. I then increased the amount of current that was flowing and hey presto, the circuit worked perfectly well. At the other end of the scale, don't run too much current through the diode because they only have a certain limited amount of dissipation. Make sure that in the worst case, the current isn't such that they exceed their maximum power dissipation. And in any case, it's always best to run any component well within its maximum limits. So that's our quick rundown on Zener diodes or voltage reference diodes. If you need any more information, please head over to the description area where there's more information and links to find some uh, further information. And please also don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much.